Hello, good day, and welcome back. So in this section, we're going to look at IO copy. We're going to do like two sections on it. And so in this very first one, it's going to be very simple. And the next one is going to be pretty simple too. And so after some section and some really long video of about 30 minutes and over 20 minutes for sure, um, this section is going to be a really short video. So let's jump right in. And so all I'm going to do here is demonstrate how to use IO copy and show you why this might be beneficial to you because it's a nice short run so you don't have to do an explicit intermediate copy. And let me show you what I mean. So here's the IO copy function. And as you can see, it's just a function that they provide. It's not a method and an object. You don't have to call it to Spartan. You don't have to get an object first and then call it. It's just a function in the IO package. And it says, it's take a destination that's a writer. So anything that implements the writer interface and it takes a source that's a reader, anything that implements the reader interface. Then it returns to you how many bytes was written from the read from the reader and written to the writer, and then if there was any er error. And so you can see it says, you know, copies bytes from um, source to destination until either end of file is reached on source or an error occurs. It returns a number of bytes copied and the first error encountered while copying, if any. A successful copy return error nil, um, not error in the file because copy is defined to read from source until end of file. It does not treat an end of file from read as source as you know an error, which makes sense, right? It's just the end of the stream. If source implement the right to interface, the copy um, is implemented by calling copy a source that write to destination. Otherwise, if destination implements the read from interface, the copy is implemented, yada, yada. Okay, we don't care about all this just yet. Um, we're just interested in, the, um, in this. And so here's an example you can see right here. And again, we're not even gonna use that. We're gonna stick to our thing because we do have an object which implements both reader and writer interface. So let's just go. So copy minus R, um, do section 10, and then I'm gonna do you know, copy that to section 11, copy to section 11, uh, come on. And then I'm going to start up my code editor. And then also what I'm going to do is let's just watch this directory where packages are and it's clean. There's no pack, nothing in there. Um, um, the other thing I might wanna do is I'm gonna see the end to the CLI directory so I could run code, okay. so. Let's go look at our CLI main, and it's still pointing to 10, so we can point it to 11, because that's where we're working out of now. And this is a, this is generate demonstrate io.copy. You heard some of my very Guyanese accent there, um, not accent only, you're in the accent all the time, but some Guyanese Creole. Um, so, slip into that sometime. Sorry about that. Um, and so, what you're seeing here is our example program in which we copy some data and let's just do this, just simplify things. And so we're gonna make this just um, data zero. So uh, data zero. And we're copying some data and we're gonna write it over, write it to our mem store. Okay, so we have a mem store. Let's um, create it with 200, for example. Doesn't really matter. It's more than enough for this, what we're trying to write. And we're gonna write some data in, and then we're gonna print out if we have any error, but we trust our things to work right now. So we're just gonna print out that mem store. Let's rename this mem store. I have too many M's to select it, so I'm gonna say rename symbol, and let's call this M source, right? Mem store source. And so this should work fine. We print it out, we write some data, print it out. And then we create a buffer here. Um, this is a read buffer. And um, then we read some data from our, our mem store and we don't expect any error. And then you know, we print out if we have any error, but okay. So this is N. Um, let's just get rid of these things because we don't expect any error. And we're gonna print out N and error. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, and so let's run our code, go run main. And as you can see, 
um, this package we have a new packager um, so all right so this runs and you can see 200 so that tells us that our, um, you know it's using this new size that we give it and we read to end the file and that's great so let's create another mem store and I'm gonna call this one M destination and I'm gonna say open and I'm gonna open with 100 so you can see that though it's different and here I'm going to copy this guy to the end and I'm gonna call this one M destination okay all right so um, let's see what we want to do we want to copy the data that we that's written to M store we want to read it all out which it does here it's here sorry we want to read it out and we want to write it to um, so we know this one shouldn't have any error so we want to write it uh, well let's leave it we want to write it to M destination so M destination that write can we just read some data we want to read R0 and then we want to slice it to be beginning to N okay and we have to do that because the read buffer is 40 and if we don't slice it we can write 10 bytes that we read from source plus the zero bytes so anyway so let's run this now and as you can see we have the two buffer here's the 201 M source the 10 bytes and we were able to copy that to the second buffer which is just 100 bytes and so if you look we had to do that in explicit copy where we add some data in a buffer in a store in a in a reader and we read it and then we had to turn around and write it back to a store so can we get rid of this and this so the intermediate buffer can we get rid of that and can we simply say and comma error is equals well I don't I'm not even gonna store the error so I'm gonna get rid of that can we say IO that copy and can I say my destination and copy from my source can I do that would that work now remember our object implements IO reader well let's put a cup error it seems to have an error it says cannot use M as destination type m that's m store as type io writer in argument to io copy and it says m store does not implement io reader now some of you might be really surprised that it doesn't implement io reader I'm sorry io write because writer because we've been using write all the time so let's go back here and take a look there is our write function and it implements write on the pointer to memstore not on memstore itself on the pointer to memstore so let's go back to our main and the reason why that was working is because we could have taken we can take an address of these guys but we pass it to a function now that's a copy that's gonna it's we're passing it okay so if we pass ampersand here and say we want to pass the address of this and then now we want you to write to that then um, this part is okay right and now it says you know same thing and the reason why is our reader for the same exact reason our reader is implemented on the pointer and so if we pass the address of that now it should be happy and once it's saved it is happy and so let's run this now and we run it and we get the exact same result and so now we didn't have to do that intermediate copy and this is just there to prove that our source has um, you know this data M source and M destination all right and so I, I'm pretty sure you're convinced by now but you know it doesn't hurt to do it all right so that is it for IO copy. Very, very simple. Now, if you're worried about the fact that we have to use an ampersand here to get a pointer, that's because of how we've implemented our reader and writer. We can certainly get around this 
by doing a few things and one of them would be instead to create a um, a type that represents a pointer to a mem store and then you would initialize it by creating a pointer or having a function that gives you a new mem store so a number of ways we can do it just like how the um, in errors that new I can't find that errors that new there it is errors that new we could do a new function in our for our mem store that returns a pointer so um, this would instead be you know something that we would just return a pointer to and therefore that's how you'd, you'd create a mem store and that would be no different than when you create a file so don't worry about it we'll see it but anyway it's just letting you know that there are options for us to get around so we don't have to type this as the users because we will only be able to create pointers to memstore and then when we use them in our IO copy here we don't have to explicitly take the address off because they would already have the um, be pointers and we don't have to dereference using them because C++ uh, go like take care of that again I promise this was gonna be a short video so I'm cut it here I think the example speaks for itself See you in the next video. Take care. Please do subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Spread the word. And certainly hit that um, thumbs up button. I do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.